not really here to do anything other than to deliver my talents for the Jamaican people while I can still do that. We're coming from a major election defeat in 2020. I was elected leader of the party. I was, I've already been in representation of politics since 2017. So I became leader with just three years of experience in representation of politics, which is very unusual. So it's taken me time to get out there and get people to know me, what I stand for, how I think, and so on. And that is, I think, improving. My own favorability ratings have doubled, actually, in one year. I was at 11% a year ago, I'm now at 22, based on our own polling, that, independent polling that we have hired. That's a very good sign. The party's favorability rating has improved as well. In terms of the voting intention, Yes, there is a big gap, but we're going to erode that because we're going to be going on the road more. And now that I'm starting to talk about what we will deliver for the Jamaican people, then they will start to see the vision and see how it relates to them and the real issues facing the country, which are not being addressed by this government. And this crisis in the country is real, and the problems are very, very deep, and they require solutions, brave, courageous solutions, but solutions that tackle those real issues. And that's what we intend to do. I'm not really here to do anything other than to deliver my talents for the Jamaican people while I can still do that. Preparing to leave is important because family life is critical. We have to go through a process of social transformation. The problems we have in the society, crime and violence and dysfunctional behavior, is as, partly as a result of family life not being where it should be. And encouraging fathers to be respected and to have some, some support so they can bond with their children from early is a critical thing. Senator Crawford elaborated on that in very graphic terms and I wouldn't attempt to do it because he has done it so well. But it can be done by legislative development and of course we will have to consult with the business community, employers and so on. But it is something which other countries have done. It's a progressive way of looking at the family and we intend to do it. I think the turnout was great. It was we were in here it was pretty crowded. I, I, there was no real extra room, and I got outside it was pretty crowded as well. So I'm I'm very pleased. And the weather, you know, didn't didn't treat us badly. I don't think it rained, right? I, I, you know, so I'm very happy about that. Thank you. Always work to be done. I'm relatively new to this. You know, I was I only went into the representation of politics in 2017. I mean, if you compare me with somebody like Portia when she became leader in 2006, I think it was. She had been a councillor since 1974. So you know, when you're in representation of politics, that's when you get to know the people. You know, if you're in the Senate, you're not really part of that mix. So I, you know, I, I have a, a lot of work to do to get people to know me. But I'm an engaging kind of person. I respect people and I show them love. And I'm looking forward in particular with young people to hear more from them. I've charged the PMPYO, which now has a new executive and a new leader, uh, to really develop a, a, a youth agenda, working with our young professional arm, which is the Patriots, so we can hear from the young people and design up policies that meet their needs and aspirations. Because we, we, we have always aspired to be relatable and be the party that represents young people and we have been that in the past and we need to come back to where we are strong in that demographic and we intend to do that.